Hi everybody, it's Caroline. And today's prompt is number 22, which is the, the water and envelope insert. So for water, the first thing that came to my mind was the beach. I absolutely love the beach. Love water of any kind, but the beach uh, really speaks to my heart. We've had some wonderful vacations, trips at the ocean, and um, whether it's the Canadian Ocean or Canadian provinces, right along the seaboard, the eastern seaboard. I've never been to the Pacific Coast, but the eastern coast. And these are pictures of Florida beaches that we've been to. And so I'm just going ahead and gluing these in. Not very artsy because they are photographs that I printed off that I took. This one here is Daytona Beach. And then this one here is Destin, the Emerald Coast in the Gulf. And that was a beautiful, beautiful trip too. Both on our motorcycles. I decided to go into my flow journal to dig out some of the papers that I would need to decorate. I wasn't sure when I was looking in there what I was going to use, but I decided on some coffee filter and uh, there's a light green piece of paper at, up on the top of the envelope and that was junk mail advertisement that I had dyed. So that was a good color to go with with this particular uh, scheme that I'm using, edging the, uh, the envelope and deciding on what I'm going to do for the opening of the envelope. And there comes in the magazine cutout that I took. I really wanted to keep the edge smooth so that when I take the card in and out it wouldn't catch. I do like the rough look but for this I thought it would be better. So I cut that and glued it on the top and I also decided to take some pieces of uh, paper bag that I had also used previously as a as a wipe off and it had some stain on it so I'm going to use that to cover up the logo of the envelope I used glue stick throughout this pretty much this whole project things were pretty flat which is what I was looking for Just repairing that also at the top there, just connecting the, the opening. And brayering it down with my quickly available gelato. And just testing the, uh, the opening and I'm pretty happy with that. Also digging into my stamps and I also have my acrylic block that I'm going to use. And the stamp that I, the two stamps that I took out are information stamps, which work perfectly for this. Because I can use them, I can write on them. Really like the way that turned out. my postage stamp which is an angel fish that'll go up at the top and I'm using my gelato which I'll water down just to give the envelopes a little bit more color make everything flow
really, really flows nicely. I love the gelatos. And this color was just the right color for me for this particular project. I'm so amazed at how the colors just go together once it's all glued down and built, built up. So I took a piece of eco dyed paper and stapled that to the one of the journaling cards as a little pull tab, glued on my angel fish. Love angel fish. And then another piece of um, junk mail that I had watercolored, and it was the right green. When I was looking th for it in my flow journal, well, I came across it and I thought that's the perfect color. So just ripped a little piece of paper or a little piece off and folded it up, grunged it up a bit. I'm, gl I'm gluing it on here. I think I was um, I was thinking of stapling it but that wouldn't have made sense because I wouldn't have been able to access the pocket. I'm doing a voiceover because it there was a little bit of noise coming from the background. I couldn't get rid of it so. Also allowed me to speed it up a little bit. Let me know if you like this process. I enjoy watching how everybody does their putting putting everything together and even the thought process. So and now I'm just making sure it's all open and easily accessible. I think I just said that. feels really good in my hands too. It's just crunchy and you know that tactile feeling that you get when everything's painted. And just rounded the corners of this tag that I I had already made this. It was collaged and with total junk pieces, literal like little rip lip, little rip offs. <laughs> And it has magazine on it. I actually have a little picture of hockey here too, which is on the frozen water. Oh, scrumptious. What I thought of was, I wonder if I can turn these diamonds into emeralds. I'm going to be bold and <laughs> try something out. I have a green... Oh, I have a watercolor pencil. I wonder if that would work. Actually, I have this. Let me try this. Oh, Dustin was really pretty. It is chillier, especially with the time of year that we would go, which is either February, March, but still gorgeous. The gems are now emeralds. We have a hockey player, so on frozen water little space to write here. I'm going to put a, a string 
a string or something up here. What do I have handy? You know, when you're looking around and you can't find anything, that's a good sign because it means you have to break into something, something new. I'm going to put this on top of here. I think I'll go... Not a very long one, that's good. Perfect. A little bit of, a little bit of uh, force. Yeah. This will go, so I have this little tag here, which I can write on the back. Oh, I wonder if I should do it like this though. Ooh, yes, okay. I think I'll switch it up. This will be my emeralds. Are they dry? Yeah, they're dry. And then this one can go in here. Just have to. Is that the right way? Oh, I hope it's the right way. It's not the right way. Okay. We want to go this way. That's all right. Photo record. I'm going to write in there. Actually, this works out better because this is the picture of Daytona. And then I flip the page here. I have more information to write down. I don't know what I'm going to do right here. I might leave it. And then this is the Emerald Coast which has the emeralds there. Okay, I like that. Now I have to figure out how I'm going to tip it in. Oh, I like these colors. Don't you just love using junk? I It all works out. Like here I have summary of benefits. Well, of course, the summary of the the benefits of being able to do this and enjoy nature and the ocean. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, that's good. And then this side. I think we're coming to the end of this. I'm pretty pleased with this. Oh yes, I have not quite done yet. I do have this number, it's hard to see, number 22. I'm gonna put this over I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it. Probably up here. Yeah, right there. Mm hmm. Then I also have, okay, I don't need this number two. Right there, getaway. And I have a couple more stamps that I want to use. Some shells. Maybe I'll put that here like that. That's fine like that. Lay it down. There. I love it. I love it again. Clean this up a little bit here. So here we go. Today's prompt is finished. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. It's water and an envelope insert. I took two photocopies of pictures that we that I took when on our vacation. 
couple vacations. This is Daytona. And this is Miramar Beach in Destin, and it's the Emerald part of the Emerald Coast. And I just uh, glued them down, and I put some gesso along the edges. Did some, and took an envelope that I had in my in my supplies that was already tea stained, and then I added a couple of stamps. with information and I'm going to fill that out and here's this says photo record so that'll be great it says left to right so that's perfect and then just some little doodads from junk mail some stamps I used some colors here I have this journaling card that I already had in my and my supplies also. And then it is a window envelope that I'm using. And I already had this made, this card. These were diamonds that I colored and turned into emeralds to go with my Emerald Coast. We actually have a picture here. <laughs> this was collaged obviously, but this was a ho little hockey player so that also goes for frozen water journaling card putting that in here and i just edged the this was a rough rough edge another stamp and then some magazine words that i had cut out it's a great getaway and it's always a perfect day so there we go this is prompt number 22 and oops water envelope insert done thanks for coming along have a great day or a great evening we'll talk to you soon bye for now